So let's imagine you've got hundreds of patients and you're working all over the place and you just don't really have that much time to spend uh, on the page. So, oh, what can I do? How can I integrate the hands and the needles given this situation? Okay, so first, do five minutes on the back, okay? Just warm the back, warm the sacrum, five minutes work. You know what to do. We've been through the routine, so that happens first. Then come, needle your distal points. We've chosen the chong. We drop in. Relax in. We want to move into the Yuan Chi level because we've chosen the Chong. We want a vibrating technique. We want to create that vibration. And then Leave it in that level. We're interested in a guo. We found a guo. We spent some time palpating. We found a guo. I haven't got time to stimulate it with my hand just now. Hmm, okay, so what am I going to do? I'm going to use a spreading technique, warm the area up first. So I'll come to this side. So we warm the area first, just a bit, just open, open. Even that, just to guide the chi along, you've already found the guo, you've palpated for it. You think, oh yes, here we go. We want to do a spreading technique, drop in, Drop in softly, softly, becoming like water. As you move in, spread the fascia between the thumb and the index finger. Relax back. Drop in as you spread. Relax back. Drop in as you spread. Leave it there. Pericardium six, if you've decided to do the couple points or any other points you may have decided to do. I'm just trying to give you a flavor. We leave those in place. We come up to the area of the abdomen, gentle warming, just two phases, tui fa, warm, mo fa, bring a hold into place somewhere with the mother hand, somewhere calming. Spend some time just polishing the golden egg. Needles are in place now anyway. And then the three keys. So the three keys are palm rofa, genfa and rocking. Bring the palm to ren four. Gather there. Bring the other hand either beside or on top is nice. Gather, 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 gather. Then, row far. Moving all the fascia through the ovaries, where the ovaries are now. So I had um, a woman who came to see me who had terrible problems with her periods very irregular periods, painful periods, and also wanted to conceive. So we had the full gamut there. And I would treat her very much like this. We'd needle the chong, needle the four gates I'd, on the other side. I'd come into a couple of guo places, one on each side, and I would spend most of the treatment, so while those needles were retained, let's say 15, 20 minutes, going between these three techniques and spending that time 
over weekly treatments. I treated her weekly. And by the end of the month, the period had come. She wasn't expecting it. Oh, more of a regular period. The pain started to ease. By the next month, the period was flowing well. No pain. The next month, she was pregnant, naturally. So it was all about getting a good flow of chi and blood, moving the accumulation and the stagnation. She was pretty stressed with work, as you know, a lot of people are. But that's the sort of amount of time. So this idea of giving ourselves the opportunity of having at least two or three good menstrual cycles, hopefully with each one showing us that there's more flow, there's less pain, more comfort. That's what we're looking for. That's the way we can see how we're progressing. So you can see the needles are in, they're happily there. No problem. And in fact, the, the subtle movement you get in the structure stimulates the flow of the needle and the channel as well. You see a little bit of gentle movement. So you can really work as, as physically or as subtly as you like, but move the fascia. So that is key one, palm rofa. Key two, moxa hands. So if you have got a lot, a lot of stasis there, then you'll apply your genfar a little bit more physically. Sometimes, I mean, with this particular um, patient in mind, she did have a lot of stasis, a lot of cold, and there was some deficiency of the kidneys as well. So again, pretty common situation. So when we got to this second key, the, the genfar, I would go between more of a physical up and down genfar, and a more subtle moxa hands. Again, the more physical, the more obvious vibration you start to get, even creeping down the legs, and then make it more subtle, drop it down. Visualize the moon, or if it's yang, visualize the sun, or where am I in the cycle? If, the, if we can get the menstrual cycle to coincide with the full moon, that would be ideal. Again, not always possible, but ideal. The third key, rocking. Drop the hands slightly lower, rock. Remember with the rocking, you're using the bottom hand to create the motion. The top hand is following along to get a little bit of movement in the structure. Again, then the needles, you see the needle handle starts to wave a little from side to side. And I just go between those three in any order. Rocking, deep chi vibration, moxa hands, palm row far. Those are the three keys. So if you've got no time, you want to come to the abdominal work, can't do the eight gates today, there isn't the time, we'll do this. And finally, the last part of your needle retention, come to that hold. Bladder one, yin tang, do 24, relax the fingers on the sides of the head. And that forms a very nice way of integrating the two. Slowly, slowly coming away. So hopefully that gives you an idea again of, okay, yeah, I'm, I'm working with my needles, I'm working with my hands. That's a quick way of doing something. Mm -hmm.